Hi everyone, I'm Grace from Gardening for Joy. Thanks for joining. Um, if you've seen some of my videos in the past, welcome back. And if this is the first vid video, welcome and certainly subscribe if you'd like to. So in today's video, I really just wanted to give you a few tips. You know, I think I've told you as I learn new things, I'll share those things with you. And so a couple of things I wanna share with you today. Um, this is my latest creation. I'm using a lot of my summer flowers. Uh, this is a design that um, is going to fit into a 24 by 36 frame. Um, and it uses up most, uh, well, it uses up many of the summer flowers that I pressed from around our property. So let's get started. Um, the first tip I wanna talk about is the paper that I use. I think in the past, I talked about using more of a, um, uh, of a matte type of paper to actually glue the flowers on. Um, well, I've changed that approach. Um, and I've changed that um, as I look at the work that other artists do. And what I notice is that most artists use um, some type of fine art paper. And so I'll share with you the paper that, um, that I started using, um, easily, readily available. Um, so let me get started with that. So um, the paper I use, it's, um, it's a, actually a watercolor paper, right? It's beautiful paper. Um, and what do we want to look for? Well, you want to look for paper that has a cold press finish. You want to look for a paper that has a weight of about 140 pounds or 300 GSM, 100% cotton. And then you can see it's acid free, really, really beautiful paper. And so using this great paper will really take up your, um, your artwork a notch. So that's the first tip if you can find, and this paper is readily available. Um, you can find it on Amazon. You could probably go into any um, art store. You can go into Michael's and find this. And it comes in various sizes. You can see this is an 11 by 14 size. Um, the paper that I have here in front of you, this is actually um, a 22 by 30 inch. Um, and I just happened to find um, these raw sheets in Michaels. Uh, so not all Michaels have those, but you know, check it out and you might find that if you wanna do a larger piece of artwork. Um, not expensive, I think the sheet of paper was $5. Um, so that was pretty good. Um, so again, really important, I think, you know, use that great, um, that great fine art paper. Um, second tip is, um, is about laying out your flowers, right? So when I lay out my flowers, I generally start with the larger flowers first. So in this particular design, you know, I placed my sunflowers out. I placed some of my cosmos out. I, I placed those larger flowers out first. Um, and then after those larger flowers are placed, then I fill in with some of the fl smaller flowers like this little um, hydrangea flower, right? So it's easier to do that, easier to fill in once you've got your primary flowers laid out. Um, so that's really helpful. The last thing I wanna talk to, to you about is um, how I kind of get a better perspective of my picture. So once I lay out my design, I, take a picture of it. Um, for some reason, I can see things more clearly from the picture than from simply looking at things straight on. So I'll take a picture, I'll look at it, I'll move around some flowers, I'll see the empty spots that maybe need to be filled. Um, and I'll do that multiple times until I'm comfortable with the design. So those are the tips that I just wanted to share with you today, three quick tips you know, good paper, lay out your larger flowers first, and then really take a picture of your design. Um, at least for me, it changes the perspective of how I see it. And I'm able to see things on the picture that for whatever reason, I can't see straight on. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for joining and um, I hope to see you again.